Now we are going to create and edit a form that we can also do in Access. Let's look at our instruction. In this question, we will create, format, and edit forms in the database. Use the query saved as question 1b to create a form using all the fields. Once again, I told you, you click on create, and we will use the form wizard. Remember, we used the query wizard. Now, we are using the form wizard. As you click on form wizard, the same familiar box that comes up, it looks a lot like the query wizard. They tell us, that we must use the query that we saved as question 1b to create the form using all the fields. Here, which are we going to use the table or the query? Our instruction says query using all the fields. I can either double click on all of them to take them over or I can just click on, if I have to take all the fields over just on the double right arrow to take all my fields over. Then I've selected my fields, I click on next. What layout would you like for your form? That's a default, you just click on next. Once again, you have to give your form a title. Let's go see what the title must be. Change the form title to Cabbage Garden Academy and your examination number. So you delete what is there, you type in Cabbage Garden Academy and your ID number. And again, you are going to click on Modify Forms Design because you will have to make changes to your form. Modify Forms Design and click on Finish. Now you are in the design view of your form. Form header, your detail with your name of product supplier, your field names and also your form footer. In the form header, that's where your title will be. Use Bondoni MT Black 14 point for the title. So we have to change the font and font size of my title. If I click on the, the, the title, there will be an orange block around it. I can go and I can go and change the font size or the font type and also the font size. I can make it bold, I can make it underline, I can make it italics, whatever my instruction says. Insert the footer below in the center using the font Bondoni Black MT14, helping others and ourselves to live in a sustainable way. There's your form footer. There's no space to type in the form footer. So I will have to make it bigger. If I put my mouse on the line under form footer, there's an up and down arrow. Click hold in and drag to make it bigger so that I can type in my form footer. If I go to design on the top of my toolbar, there's all my controls that I can use. To type in a footer, I will have to use the AA, the big A and the small A. If I click on the AA and I click in my footer, my block is open where I can type, helping others and ourselves to live in a sustainable way. Helping others and ourselves in a sustainable way. The instruction says it must be Bondoni Black MT and 14 point. So once again, I click on my block so that the orange block appears around it. I go home, I go to my font, I change it to Bondoni Black, and I change it to size 14. But be careful now, do you see that it does not fit? I have to make my block bigger so that it fits. Left and right arrow, if I drag and I make my block bigger, left and right arrow, I can drag it and I can make my block bigger. The instruction also says it must be in the center. So I go back and I click on center so that I know it's in the center. You can make your block even a bit bigger so that you know it fits. Insert the following, they're called inform view. I'm done for now. In my design view, I've designed, 
I put in my, my, my title, I've changed the font and I put in my footer. So I click on the cross to close it. Yes, I want to save it. Now on the left hand side, there's your form, your query and your table. So you double click on form to open it. There's the form that you created, helping others and ourselves. There's your footer. At the bottom, you will see it says one of three. There's number one is the Cherokee purple tomato. There's beefsteak tomato. And when you click on the next one, when you click, you will see that there's a, a little one that says new blank record. So you click on new blank record because that is where you will have to insert the record that they tell you. You are now in form view. You are in the view of your form. Here at the bottom, you can add a new record and you can type in the information, the name of the product, the supplier, the date. I've already done that. There it is, Bull's Heart Tomato. All you do is you type in each little block the information that they give you and you've added an extra record in your form view. Once you've added your record, you close your form and it will ask you, or there it is, if you want to print it, file, print, print preview, and there is your form view or your print preview with the three forms or records that you've selected. You go to print, you go to OK, and you can print it as normal. Close print preview, close your form, there's your table, there's your query, and there's your form that you've created.